Hey, I'm Marty from Springhead Media Solutions. Today we are going to be combining audiences in MailChimp. Maybe you recently discovered that you should really have one audience and organize them a different way or whatever. Um, I'm going to go through two different strategies on how to do this. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And when you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and a little thank you in the comments so that other people can find it as well. Okay, let's dig in. The first thing that you need to do is look at all of your audiences. So we're gonna go to audience dashboard. And then this menu here, we can go to view audiences. Here we go, these are all of mine. Before you do any work on any of your audiences, I recommend exporting a CSV of that audience so that were something to happen, you always have like a record and you can go back. When you move contacts from one audience to another, you are going to lose some data. You'll be able to take all of the merge fields, so their address, their name, any other fields that you have, you will not be able to move over the information on what emails they opened, what their click rates were, information like that. That is not able to move from one place to another. The other thing that you need to keep in mind is whether you need the tags that are attached to those contacts and whether you need to know what audience it came from. If you don't need what tags they had or what groups they were in, and it doesn't matter what audience they're coming from, then you can use MailChimp's combine tool. Right over here, combine audiences. I'm going to be moving my Dunder Mifflin audience into my main one. What this combine tool will do is it will take any of the contacts from your first audience, in this case, the, my Dunder Mifflin audience, who are subscribed and who are not present in the second audience, in my main audience, and it will move them over. Right now, I only have three contacts in there, so it very well may be that one or two of them are already in my main audience and are going to be left behind when I do this. All right, it says that they've all been successfully combined. I can hop over here. And it turns out none of them were there, so they've moved on over. They come in as source unknown, and they did not come with the tags that they had. That's important to remember. Now when I go back to my Dunder Mifflin audience, there's no one there. Now we're going to do the second way of combining audiences, which is exporting and importing. The advantage of doing this is it takes all of the tags that they have attached to them with them into the new audience, whatever groups they were in, it takes that into the new audience. And when you import them in, you can add a tag to everyone on that list to acknowledge where they came from. So if the audience that they were in previously, if you need to know that they were part of that audience, you have to do the export import way. So we're gonna go ahead and export. There we go. Now, while I'm still in this audience, I am going to archive these contacts. If you recall, MailChimp will charge you based on how many contacts you have in your account. And if you have the same contacts in two locations, they're charging you for them twice. So we want to get these out of the contact count before we add them back in another audience, otherwise we're doubling up. So I'm going to highlight them here and archive them. I'm going to go to my main audience. I'm going to import my contacts. I'm going to be importing my subscribed list as subscribed. If you want to make sure that you are honoring people's unsubscribes, you're also going to want to import the unsubscribed list as unsubscribed to make sure that even in this list, their unsubscribed is being honored. Go ahead and import them as subscribe. I'm also going to update any existing contacts so that if they were already in my main audience, they will also still have whatever tags they got in the previous one. And this is where I can add a tag to acknowledge where they came from. So these were my demo audience. I'm going to create that tag. You always wanna make sure it hops up at the top here. I'm going to match my fields and maybe there was a field in the previous audience that isn't in this one and you need to add it or maybe you don't need some of these audiences and you can eliminate them out and not bring them in the new one. Finalize my import. There we go. Okay, so now we have this old audience with no contacts in it. So let's go deal with that. Here's our Dunder Mifflin with no one in it. If you're ready to delete this audience, you're just gonna click this little box here and hit delete. When you delete an audience, um, the campaigns will actually survive. If you went to all campaigns and all audiences, the previous campaigns that you sent from this audience will be in there. So 
that data will still exist. The campaigns will still exist even if you delete this audience itself. Well, there we go. I hope that that helped you out. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a little thank you in the comments or ask any questions. I have more videos on audience organization and I will be running some webinars coming up. So go ahead and check in the description below for more information on all of this stuff and I'll see you around.